Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is Friday, July 31st, and today the Ashland Sevens will take on Kingston. The Ashland Sevens having a tremendous season. They are 12 and 1 overall. Kingston is 1 and 11. Louis Dennison is the starting pitcher today for the Ashland Sevens as they try to pick up a, another win on their mission to clinching that number one playoff spot in the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League. As Chris Quigley, the third baseman, steps in. Connor Donovan on camera. Tom Nappy on the call. The first pitch is in there for a strike. Louis Dennison, a sidearm hurdler for the sevens. His battery mate is Max Dushney. Behind home plate today. Wind up and the pitch. And this is hit in the air to right field. That'll get down for a base hit. So a leadoff hit for the leadoff man, Chris Quigley. Let's take you through the Kingston batting order. Chris Quigley just started things off with a single. His brother Jack Quigley, the shortstop, will bat second. Jackson Milbert, the catcher, hitting third. Nick Iarudi, the center fielder, hitting cleanup. Mike Sylvester, the second baseman, batting fifth. Jensen Benavides, the first baseman hitting sixth. Ryan Sana, the right fielder, hitting seventh. First pitch, a breaking pitch in there for a strike. Ryan Gieber, the center fielder, hitting eighth. And Kean Lennox, the pitcher, hitting ninth for 1-11 and 11 Kingston. Looking to pull off a big upset here today. They are led by head coach Tony Green. As this is popped up behind the play, can Dushney get there? No. That'll make the count 0-2. Let's take a look at the Sevens Diamond. Louis Dennison is the pitcher. Max Dushney at first base. Brian Gazzard, or excuse me, Max Dushney the catcher. Brian Gazzard at first base. Jackson Hornung the second baseman. Tyler Dossis the shortstop. Lawrence Tang getting a start at third base today. And from left to right, Connor Kramer in left field. Dick Calabrese in center field. Shea Donovan in right field. As the seven switching up the batting order a little bit to give some guys a bit of a different look and some experience. So one and two count on Quigley. Of course, the big game for the sevens will be this Sunday at 5 o'clock over at Medfield High School. Last game of the regular season. And the winner of that game will clinch the number one spot in the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League playoffs. As this is... Hit up the right side, flip to second for one, and that's all they'll get, but they do get one. A four to six force out allows Jack Quigley to reach. That'll bring up Jackson Milbert, the catcher. The Sevens getting a mercy win in Franklin last night. 12 to one was the final in that game. A nice day for baseball. The HCAM Weather Center reading at 84 degrees for the temperature. The field as of right now covered in shade, but pleasant conditions, not too humid. Certainly not as humid as it has been the last few games and throughout the course of much of this previous week. Dennison checks in and the runner just back safe. A nice pickoff move there. Wind up and the pitch. A little outside there. That'll make the count one and one. The last regular season home game for the Sevens. They'll certainly likely have some playoff home games. Wind up and the pitch. And this is going to trickle foul. Up the first base side, one and two. Get you the stats on Louis Dennison, the pitcher today. In just a moment. Dennison checks in again. Runner just back safe, really testing him. And Dennison with that sidearm delivery, it really leads to a very effective pickoff move. Dennison has only worked one inning on the mound 
this season. He threw 34 pitches in that inning as this is hit in the air over to center field. That'll get down for a hit. So it's going to be two on with one out. And Nick Iarudi, the center fielder, will step to the plate. Dennison has a 7.00 ERA, but he'll get some experience here this evening. I mean, this game standings wise does not mean a whole lot towards the Ashland Sevens. Pretty much no matter what happens as the ball gets away from the catcher, both runners advance. Pretty much no matter what happens, it'll be between Ashland and Medfield on Sunday to determine who gets that number one seed in the MIBL playoffs. But you'll get a good look at some of the younger players and some of the players we haven't seen a whole lot of yet this season. Swing and a miss, a nice pitch there. Wind up and the pitch. And this is hit high in the air over to left center. And it's caught by Calabrese. Runner from third going to tag, and he'll score 1-0 Kingston. So sacrifice RBI flyout for Nick Iarudi. Jack Quigley comes around to score, and Kingston leads it 1-0. Mike Sylvester, the second baseman, will step to the plate. Well, it's going to be interesting... Getting a look at Louis Dennison on the mound today. First time we've really seen him get a start. He, that one inning he pitched was in relief. He's a 17-year-old out of Holliston, set to graduate in 2021. And of course you got Lawrence Tang out there playing some third base today. Dennison shakes off the first sign and is now set to deal. Looks at second and delivers, fouled away. Oh and one count on Sylvester. Two outs in the inning, a run in for Kingston, run around second. Wind up and the pitch. A little outside. One and one. And based on how Dennison does out there, I'd imagine it'll be some type of mixed effort on the mound as Ashland tries to rest their key starters in preparation for that midfield game and, of course, the playoffs. So one and two count. Sun's starting to glare down here on the field. Down low, runner taking off to third, and he will get there with ease. Pass ball there, two and two. Ended up in between the legs of Dushney. Max Dushney, the catcher, only a 15-year-old out of Ashland in the class of 2023. Freshman getting some experience behind the plate today for the Sevens. And perhaps you're looking at the future of the Sevens behind the plate today. Fouled away. Max Dushing did contribute pretty well with the bat in the few opportunities he had this season. Here at Ashland Middle School, it's 323 to right field, 360 to center field, 328 to left field. Wind up and the pitch. And the umpire didn't like it. That'll fill up the count. Dennison looks at third and delivers. Fouled away. Well, Mike Sylvester making Dennison battle here. Hey, now, 
Dennison gets the sign and delivers. There's strike three. Gets some looking and that'll wrap up the top of the first. Kingston does play to run and they lead it one to nothing as we head to the bottom of the first. Here at Ashland Middle School, you are tuned in to Ashland 7 Summer Baseball. Bottom of the first inning, the Ashland 7's coming to the plate. Let's take a look at the batting order. Connor Kramer, the left fielder, will start things off. Kevin Balowitz, the DH, batting second. Jackson Hornung, the second baseman, hitting third. Tyler Dossis, the shortstop, hitting cleanup. Shade Donovan, the right fielder, are batting fifth. Lawrence Tang, the third baseman, hitting sixth. Brian Gazzard, the first baseman, batting seventh. Max Dushney, the catcher, hitting eighth. Nick Calabrese, the center fielder, hitting ninth. On the mound for Kingston, it's Key and Lennox. As the left-hander is set to deliver. Wind up in the pitch. A little high, says the umpire, one and oh. Jackson Milbury is the catcher for Kingston at first base. It is Jensen Benavides, the second baseman, Mike Sylvester. As this is up the middle, past the pitcher, right through his legs, and reaching on the single is Connor Kramer. The shortstop, Jack Quigley. Third baseman is Chris Quigley, left to right for Kingston. Nick Iarudi, Ryan Gibier, and Ryan Sana as Kevin Balowitz will step in. Runner on first, no outs for the sevens. Balowitz takes a strike. Only nine players available for Kingston today, so what you see on the field is what you get for Kingston as the runner taking off from first fouled away. Kramer will have to retreat. I got a feeling with this game not meaning a whole lot standings wise that the Sevens, uh, they won't be shy on the base pass as this is dropped by the shortstop and Balowitz will reach. It would have been tough to make a play on it anyway. And I'm gonna give him a single on that one. Two on, no outs, Jackson Hornung to the plate. Hornung's had a very nice season for the Sevens as expected. 429 batting average, 571 on base percentage. And he'll take that one down low. Two on, no outs for the Sevens, and Hornung takes that one down low. Two and oh. Tyler Dossis in the cleanup spot today. He's due up next. Wind up and the pitch. Outside. Three and oh. Wind up and the pitch. There's ball four. Bases loaded for the sevens. So it'll bring up Tyler Dossis. Dossis has had a good season on the mound and with the bat. 324 batting average, 381 on base percentage. He'll take one low there. One and oh. Bases full of sevens. As Dossis gets a piece of this right side, is it gonna stay fair? Yes! And here comes a run into score. Kramer is around to score. And now Balowitz is being waved around. He will score as Horning trots up to third. Dossis to second. It's two to one sevens. A two RBI double for Tyler Dossis. That'll bring up Shea Donovan, the right fielder. 
Still no outs in the inning for the sevens. Lennox working from the stretch. There's a strike. Shea Donovan, a 200 batting average on the season. Takes a breaking pitch for a strike, 0 and 2. Lawrence Tang due up next. And Donovan gets a piece of this off the first baseman. Here comes Hornung around to score. It's 3 0 sevens. That was a liner right at the first baseman, and he couldn't make the play. I think I'll be generous and give him a hit on that one. But he does get the RBI. Horning around to score. Dossis up to third. Lawrence Tang to the plate. Lawrence Tang had a nice hit against Franklin last night. Runner taking off from first, and there'll be a throw to third. So an easy steal there for Shea Donovan. Smart move by the catcher, thrown over to third. Uh, trying to catch Dossis sleeping. And you know the double steal was on. If that throw went to second base, Dossis was taking off. Fouled away. 0-2 is the count on Tang. Tang at a 259 overall on the season. 375 on base percentage. Takes that one high. One and two. Brian Gazer do up next for the sevens. Three runs are in, two on base, no outs. Here in this bottom of the first. And Tang rips this one to right field. That'll drop down for a hit. Here comes Dossis around to score. Shea Donovan stopped at third, and it's four to nothing sevens. An RBI single for Lawrence Tang. And the bats just keep on rolling for the sevens. Making a whole lot of noise in this bottom of the first. Brian Gazzard will step in, 250 batting average, 400 on base percentage, a very good hockey player for the Ashland Clockers as well as a lacrosse player. And getting some reps in with the sevens this summer. Runner taking off from first, fouled away, runner will have to retreat. Runner taking off from first, and now they got him in a chase down. Throw to second, and the ball gets away. Tang slid right into the glove, it appeared, and the ball came out, so he reaches. No outs in the inning. Runners on second and third. We'll see what Brian Gazzard can do. Pitch to the lefty, up high. Inside. Three and one, the count on Gazzard. Max Dushney do up next. There's a called strike, full count. And he'll slice this one foul towards us, and it's caught. 
Third baseman makes the catch, one away. That'll bring up Max Dushney, the catcher. Two on, one out, four runs in for the sevens. Inside. The 1 0. There's a strike, 1 and 1. Max Dushney on the season, a 273 batting average, 400 on base percentage. And he'll take a breaking pitch for a strike there, one and two. Nick Calabrese due up next. And Max will get a piece of this right to the second baseman, two away. That'll bring up Nick Calabrese, who's been red hot with the bat all season long. He's been in that ninth spot pretty much all season long, a 647 batting average, 690 on base percentage, 34 at bats for Calabrese. 10 RBIs and 14 runs for Nick. And he'll slice this one in the air and it's caught by the third baseman, but the sevens bat around, plate four runs, and they lead it four to one as we head to the top of the second on HCAM TV in Hopkinton, HCAT in Holliston, and WACA TV in Ashland. Top of the second inning, six, seven, and eight do up for Kingston, a four to one Ashland sevens lead. As they have a nice four run inning in the bottom of the first to start things off. Jensen Benavides, the first baseman to step in, followed by Ryan Sana and Ryan Gibier. Louis Dennison out there for another inning of work. There's a strike, 0 oh and 1. Set to deliver, upstairs. One and one. We'll take you through the standings in the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League. Of course, the Ashland Sevens at the very top with that 12 and one record, a hard swing there for strike two. Medfield is 12 and two. They have their last game Sunday against this Ashland Sevens team at 5 p.m over at Medfield. Braintree nine and three, Milton nine and five, Franklin nine and four. As this is sliced in the air over to second base, picked up, throw over, not a problem. Four to three, four out number one, Ryan Sana, the right fielder will step in. Natick is eight and six, they've been doing some winning lately. Quincy eight and five, Walpole seven and five, Canton six and seven. Hyde Park is five and eight. Weymouth is five and eight. Norwood four and nine. Dedham three and nine. Wind up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. Needham is three and nine. Westwood two and ten and one. And Kingston is one and eleven. Little low there, one and one. Dennison delivers inside, two and one.
2-1 pitch from Dennison. Down low. The general manager of the Ashland Legion program, Rich Powell, is here taking in the action. It's been in most of the games throughout the season supporting this Ashland Sevens group as Ryan Sana draws a walk. One on, one out, and Ryan Gibier, the center fielder, will step in. Steve Watson of TVLSports.net also here reporting on the game. Line up in the pitch, swing and a miss. Oh and one. Dennison takes a peek at first and is set to deliver. A little outside, one and one. Ryan Sano, the right fielder over at first. One out. There's a strike. One and two. One two pitch. A little high. Two and two. Two two pitch. The ump didn't like it. Full count. Home plate umpire, of course, behind the pitcher's mound with the COVID-19 rules. Slight lead over at first base. Dennison delivers, and that's fouled off. One on, one out for Kingston. A four to one lead for the sevens of Ashland. Lined up and the pitch. Sliced foul. Good battle between Gibier and Dennison. Lined up and the pitch. And this is hit in the air right side foul. Count remains full. Dennison looks at first and delivers. Swing and a miss, out number two. Second strikeout of the game for Louis Dennison. That'll bring up the pitcher, Kean Lennox. The lefty steps in. There's a strike. Right down Broadway. Oh, and one. So far in this game, Dennison has shown that it's pretty good control of the strike zone. Down low, one and one. One on, two outs. 
here in the top of the second. Dennison looks at first and delivers. Sliced foul, one and two. Late swing there from Lennox. Sliced foul. Cow remains one and two. Slight lead at first base. And this is up the middle, right back to Dennison. He'll run it over, throw it over, out number three. One to three, four out number three. And we will head to the bottom of the second. The Ashland Sevens leading Kingston four to one on HCAM, WACA TV, as well as HCAT. Bottom of the second inning, top of the order for the Sevens as they batted around in the bottom of the first and played it four runs. Connor Kramer to lead things off. He had a single last inning and scored one of the four runs. He scored on the two RBI double by Dossis and gets a piece of this one. Up the middle it goes. And Kramer is aboard with a leadoff single. That'll bring up Kevin Balowitz, the DH. Checking at first, and they got the runner picked off. Throw to second, and it's going to be off the mark. Stolen base by Kramer. That is uh, already the second stolen base by the Sevens this evening. Wind up and the pitch. A little high. Kevin Balowitz, 244 batting average on the season, 340 on base percentage. Wind up in the pitch. There's a strike, one and one. Wind up in the pitch, up high. Two and one. Balowitz singled last inning and scored one of the four runs. He also scored on the two RBI double from Tyler Dossis. Down low and taking third is Kramer. Some aggressive base running today by the Sevens. Lennox from the stretch. And Balowitz hits this one in the air over to center field. It's caught. Runner's going to tag from third and head home and score with ease. Five to one sevens. A sacrifice RBI flyout by Balowitz. I'll bring up Jackson Hornung, the second baseman. Wind up and the pitch. Down low. Hornung walked in the first inning. He scored on an RBI hit by Shea Donovan. And he'll get a piece of this one up the third base side. Foul. One and one. Hey, 
Wind up in the pitch. And he gets a good piece of this one over to left center to the wall. And that'll drop just in front of the wall. Hornung heading over to second base. And that's where he will stay. And that is going to be a stand-up double for Jackson Hornung. Tyler Doss is coming to the plate. Dawson's had the two RBI double score the first two runs of the game in the first inning. And he'll get a piece of this one. He'll take a couple hops on the grass, picked up by the second baseman, throw to first to get the out. Hornung does advance to third. So a four to three out for Dossis. That'll bring up Shea Donovan. He reached on an error in the first inning, driving in a run and stole a base. Wind up and the pitch in there for a strike. Oh, and one. Hornung going to try to steal home, and he will. Jackson Hornung stealing home makes it six to one sevens. That was the perfect pitch to do it on. It was low in the dirt, and Milbury had a little bit of trouble finding the ball. And Hornung gets the job done. Well, that is the first steal of home plate I've seen this season, maybe ever. Wind up and the pitch, and there's a strike. And that'll make it 0-2. 1-2, and, 2. Or one and 2, excuse me. And this is hit high in the air. Over to center field. Could be trouble. And it's caught by the shortstop for the third out. But not before the sevens plate. Two more runs. And they lead it 6-1 to one as we head to the top of the third, you are tuned in to Ashland 7 Summer Baseball. Top of the third inning, top of the order for Kingston. Chris Quigley, the third baseman, to start things off, followed by Jack Quigley, the shortstop, and Jackson Milbert, the catcher. Wind up in the pitch from Dennison. A little low, 1 and 0. Oh. How about the bottom of the second? Jackson Horning stealing home plate to make it a 6-1 to one game. Impressive stuff from the multi-star athlete. As this is hit right to the first baseman. Talk about timing for Brian Gazzard. He reached the glove up there exactly at the right time, and the ball just kind of fell into it. One away. That'll bring up Jack Quigley, the shortstop. <laughs> and Coach Obin stating a fact that I think we all recognize. He had no idea the ball was in his glove. Wind up in the pitch. That hit him. We'll bring up Jackson Milbert, the catcher. Dennison set to deliver inside. One and oh count on Milbert. Check it at first, runner back safe.
significant lead by Quigley. Swing and a miss. He might have chipped it a little bit. One and one is the count. Dennison set to deliver. And this is going to be foul. One and two. Wind up and the pitch. And that is a fair ball, very slow roller, picked up by Dennison, throw to first, got him! Nice throw by Dennison. Advancing to second is Quigley, two away. Nick Iarudi, the cleanup man and center fielder to the plate. Good quick throw over by Dennison. That ball just straight out stopped and it's tracks up the grass. And a difficult play to make. Dennison get, getting the job done there. One and O to Aya Rudy. Little low. Two and O. Dennison shakes it off and is set to deliver. And this is hit in the air over to center field. That'll get down for a hit. Quigley being waved around and he will score. And it's a six to two game, an RBI double for the cleanup man, Nick Iarudi. Now bring up Mike Sylvester, the second baseman. Max Dushney heading to the mound to give Dennison some words of encouragement. Mike Sylvester struck out his last time at the plate in the first inning. Runner on second, two outs, a 6-2 to two Ashland Sevens lead here in the top of the third. Fouled away. Wind up and the pitch. Little outside, one and one. Here's the 1-1. One, one. There's a strike, one and two. Good turnout here for this Friday evening game between the Ashland Sevens and Kingston. And this is hit up the first base side and dropped by Gazzard. Runner from third being waved around to throw home off the mark. And it's going to be a six to three game. So Sylvester reaches on the error, ends up advancing to second on the throw. Nick Iarudi scores. It'll bring up Jensen Benavides, the first baseman. Well, Kingston starting to make a little noise here, hanging around. Two outs in the inning. Foul ball.
Benavides grounded out in his only plate appearance last inning. Dennison deals outside. One and one on Benavides. Swing and a miss. One and two. Wind up and the pitch. And this is going to be hit up the right side, picked up by the second baseman, throw over, not a problem. Four to three, four out number three, but Kingston plates a pair. It's a six to three Ashland lead as we head to the bottom of the third on HCAM, WACA TV, and HCAT. Lawrence Tang stepping in, or is referred to by his teammates Larry. And he'll get a piece of this up the left side. Glove by the third baseman, throw over. Did the first baseman's foot come off? No, one away. A five to three ground out for Tang. That'll bring up Brian Gazzer, the first baseman. Wind up and the pitch, fouled away. Hazard flew out to center field in the first inning. Six to three, Ashland Sevens lead here in the bottom of the third, fouled away. Oh and two. And he'll get a piece of this right to the first baseman. Two away, that'll bring up Max Dushney. Line up and the pitch, fouled away. Dushney lined out in the first inning. Leg lift and the pitch. And this is up the left side. Glove by the shortstop, throw over, and it'll get away from the first baseman. And Dushney's gonna keep going to second base. So an error on the third baseman allows Dushney to reach. That'll bring up Nick Calabrese, the center fielder. Calabrese flew out in his only plate appearance. The lefty steps in. Inside. One and oh. Line up and the pitch. There's a strike. One and one. Nick Calabrese leading the team with that 690 batting average. Runner taking off from second as this is hit in the air over to center field and caught. That'll be the third out of the inning. We will head to the top of the fourth. Ashland leading Kingston six to three. You are tuned in Ashland seven summer baseball. Top of the fourth inning, seven, eight and nine due up for Kingston. Louis Dennison out there for his fourth inning of work. Ryan Sano, Ryan Gebier, and Keen Lennox do up. The six to three Ashland Sevens lead. 
over Kingston as they try to improve to 13 and 1 heading to their final regular season game in Medfield this Sunday. Line up and the pitch. And this is hit in the air, right field, and that's a fair ball. Sana is going to head over to second. The throw over by Harnong is going to get away from Dasis. And Sana's aboard with a double. They nearly got him sliding into second. But the throw just a little off, and Dasis could not hold on to it. That'll bring up Ryan Gibier, the center fielder. Dennison set to deliver. And there's a bunt fouled away. Oh, and one count. Tom Nappy on the call. Connor Donovan on camera for Ashland Sevens Baseball. Airing on HCAM in Hopkinton, WACA TV in Ashland, or HCAT in Holliston. And hello to all our live viewers on the YouTube stream, youtube.com slash HCAM TV. Give your steps back in. Oh, and one is the count. Wind up and the pitch. And this is up the middle, gloved by the second baseman, throw to first, they'll get the out. Up to third is Sana, four to three out. They'll bring up Keen Lennox, the pitcher. Infield playing in. Swing and a miss. Dawson and Tang playing in on the infield grass. And this is up the right side, gloved by the second baseman throw by Hornung, and the ball is dropped, and the run scores. RBI single for Key and Lennox. That'll bring up Chris Quigley. It's a six to four game. Well, tough decision to make for Hornung. Do you take the sure out at first or you go home with it? And they nearly got Sana sliding into home. But Dushin is just not able to Hang on as Sana came sliding in. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. Oh and one on Quigley who is one for two today. Dennison deals. And this is up the middle. That'll get through the gap into center field. Single for Quigley, and that'll bring up Jack Quigley, the shortstop. Well, the tying run at first base. And time is called by Coach Tony Green who wants to talk things over. Two on for Kingston, one out in the inning. Ryan Sana ended up scoring on what became a RBI single by Keen Lennox. Horning nearly threw him out at home, but Dushney just not able to hang on to the throw. It looked like the ball came out when Sana's foot came sliding in. Well, 
We'll see what Dennison can do here. Tang playing in, the bunt pulled back, there's a strike. And Coach Green having a word with the umpire. The 0 1 pitch. Swing and a miss. So and two. Dennison deals. Slightly outside. One and two. One two pitch. There's strike three, two away. I'll bring up Jackson Milbert, the catcher. Six to four, Ashland Sevens lead. As this is a slow roller up the middle, back to Dennison. Picks it up, throws the first, not a problem. One to three, four out number three. We'll head to the bottom of the fourth. It's Ashland six, Kingston four. You're tuned in to Ashland seven summer baseball. Bottom of the fourth, top of the order for the sevens. Connor Kramer will step in. Keen Lennox out there for Kingston. A six to four, Ashland sevens lead. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. Ashland plated four runs in the first, two in the second, none in the third. Line up and the pitch, fouled away. As for Kingston, it was one in the first, none in the second, two in the third, and one in the fourth. Lennox set the deal. And this is golfed up in the air, right side, and Dropped by the first baseman, unable to reel it in. Oh, and two. I wonder if Benavides maybe lost it in the sun over there on the right side. Oh, two pitch. And this is up the middle past the second baseman, and that is going to be a hit for Kramer. A leadoff single to start things off in the bottom of the fourth. That'll bring up Kevin Ballow. It's the DH. He's having a nice day at the plate. He singled and scored a run in the first inning, had a sacrifice RBI fly out in the second inning. It's been the top of the order of making the noise today for the Sevens. Lennox steps off the mound to get Kramer back to the bag. Kramer already has a pair of steals today. And he's taking off, throw to first, and the throw to second off the mark. Kramer has another one. That is th the third steal for Connor Kramer. And boy, is he getting that jersey dirty tonight. And Kramer gonna steal third, and he will have steal number four. How about that, Connor Kramer just running at will. Wind up and the pitch, upstairs.
Kramer had one steal coming into tonight's game. Now it's five on the season. Swing and a miss there by Balowitz. Wind up and the pitch. And Balowitz hits this one in the air over to center field, and it's caught. Kramer going to tag from third, and he will score with ease. Seven to four, Ashland Sevens leading Kingston. Another sacrifice RBI flyout by Balowitz. Now will bring up Jackson Hornung with one out. Hornung is one for one on the day. He walked in the first, doubled in the second, has scored a pair of runs. And he takes that one high, one and oh. Wind up and the pitch. And he hits this one high in the air over to left field and it's caught. Two away. Now bring up Tyler Dossis, the cleanup man and shortstop. Well, things have really calmed down for Key and Lennox since the four-run first inning by the Sevens. See what Dossis could do outside. Dossis had a two RBI double in the first, grounded out in the second. Wind up and the pitch inside. Here's the 2 0. -oh. Swing and a miss. Wind up and the pitch. Down low. It looks like we have Jackson Horn on getting loose. Maybe we'll see him come out and pitch next inning. Wind up and the pitch. And there's ball four, Dossis draws the walk. That'll bring up Shea Donovan, the right fielder. He is one for two today. Singled and drove in a run in the first, flew out in the second. Dossis with a lead at first as Donovan swings in, misses. Wind up and the pitch, runner taking off from first is up the third baseline, that's a fair ball, throw over, and that is going to be in time, five to three, four out number three. The sevens played another run and they lead it seven to four as we head to the top of the fifth. You are tuned in to Ashland Seven Summer Baseball. Top of the fifth inning, new pitcher for the Ashland Sevens, Jackson Horning out there on the mound to get some work as Nick Iarudi steps up to the plate. Horning deals, swing and a miss. Horning throwing fire on the first pitch there. This is the first appearance on the mound this season for the Ashland Sevens and I believe the first time I've seen him pitch. As this is gonna drop into center field, that's gonna be a base hit. Iarudi around first and he is aboard with a stand up double. Nick Larsh is the new second baseman for the Sevens. Stepping to the plate will be Mike Sylvester. Line up and the pitch. There's a strike. Oh, Hornung, he could do it all. He could play second base, shortstop, catch, pitch. Play the outfield. Pretty much put him anywhere on the diamond. Inside, one and one. And 
do have more warm-up action for the sevens. Wind up in the pitch. And this is sliced up in the air, right side, and caught. Was he in play, though? Doesn't appear he did catch it in play, so that will keep the, make the count one and two on Sylvester. Looks like Andrew Dennison getting loose for the sevens. Line up and the pitch. Up the left side, glove that short throw to third. They'll get the out at third. A nice play between Dossis and Tang to get Aya Rudy heading to third. And Sylvester will reach on the six to five force out. That'll bring up Jensen Benavides. One on, one out. There's a strike. Oh, and one. Hornung takes a look at first and deals. And the home plate umpire didn't like it. One and one. Hornung looks at first and delivers, fouled away, one and two. Well, it'll be interesting to see how long they keep Jackson Hornung on the mound for. They got Andrew Dennison loose in case his leash is short or he starts to struggle. Lineup and the pitch. There's strike three, two away. I'll bring up Ryan Sana. Jackson Orion, just a tremendous athlete. And you know he has a strong throw for him all over the field. So why wouldn't he have one from the mound? He's showing that here. Sana is one for one today with a walk and a run score. Checking at first, runner back safe. Pretty solid pickoff move by Horning as well. Wind up and the pitch. That's sliced foul. Checking at first, runner back safe. Louis Dennison went four innings in the game, giving up six hits, four runs, three of which were earned. But a pretty solid four innings from Dennison out there today. Line up and the pitch. Sliced foul. 0 oh and 2. Horning working from the stretch. Takes a look at first. Andy deals. Upstairs, runner taking off as it got away from the catcher. And Sylvester is aboard at second base on the wild pitch. Horning deals, little low, two and two. Hornung looks at second, and now takes another look and delivers. Swing and a miss, out number three. And hold on, is that a fair ball? No, he's going to run it out, got away from the catcher, throw to first, got him. No! 
The umpire saying he's safe. Unbelievable. Home plate umpire, they're saying the, the umpire is saying the catcher dropped the ball. So the batter could have ran it out. And it looks like that the runner is going to beat it out, heading to first base. Since the ball was dropped, he was able to run up to first base, and that's what he did. So it was indeed a live ball the whole time. It'll be runners on first and third, two outs. Ryan Gabier, the center fielder, heading to the plate. Well, just when you think you're getting out of an inning smoothly, not so fast. But I thought the runner heading to first didn't beat the throw. Obviously, my viewpoint not as good as the first base umpire, but I thought the throw got there first. Line up and the pitch. There's a strike. Well, let that be a lesson if the cat if you're a catcher or if the catcher drops the ball, get that ball to first base as soon as possible. Especially on that third out, just to confirm. Upstairs, gets away from the catcher. Here comes a run. So Mike Sylvester around to score. And Kingston very much in this ball game. It's a seven to five game. Sana moves up to second. Wind up and the pitch. The umpire didn't like it, two and one. Hornung looks at second and deals, and this is up the right side. Slow roller picked up by the second baseman, throw over, and they got him. Four to three, four out number three. But Kingston ends up plating a run. It's a seven to five game in favor of Ashland as we head to the bottom of the fifth on HCAM, HCAT, and WACA TV. Bottom of the fifth inning, a seven to five Ashland Sevens lead. Six, seven, and eight do up. Larry Tang, Brian Gazzard, and Max Dushney to face Keen Lennox. Well, we'll explain to you more what happened at the end of last inning as this pitch is in there for a strike. As I was informed by our rules analyst, Steve Watson, of course the ball was still alive since the catcher dropped it. And the signal by the umpire, which could be confused for an out, wasn't the signal for an out, it was the signal for a strikeout. But since the ball was dropped, Ryan Sano was able to run it out. Throw didn't get there in time. And that led to the whole sequence where the run ended up scoring. As this is up the middle, glove by the shortstop, throw to first, got him. Six to three, four out number one. That'll bring up Brian Gazzard, the first baseman. Gazzard up now, Dushney do up next. And Lennox deals down low. Well, Keen Lennox has really calmed down since giving up six runs in the first couple of innings. Wind up and the pitch, down low. Two and O. Oh. Gazzard 0 oh for two at the plate so far this evening. Wind up and the pitch. Three and O. Oh.
Lennox set to deal. Ball four. And you wonder if Keen Lennox has lost it. It looks like he's having trouble getting the ball over the plate now. Max Dushney will step in. Dushney is one for two today. Doubled in the third inning. Gazzard with a slight lead off of first and he'll retreat as Lennox steps off the mound. And he's taking off as this is hit in the air over to right field and that'll drop in for a hit. Gazzard going to head over to third base. It'll be runners on the corners with one out. Good piece of hitting by Max Dushney. And that'll bring up Nick Calabrese, the center fielder. Big opportunity here for the center fielder, Nick Calabrese. It's a seven to five Ashland lead over Kingston. You'd certainly love to get a little more room for error if you're the sevens. And this is up the right side, past the reach of the first baseman. Gazzard comes around to score. And Dushney held up at second. An RBI single by Nick Calabrese. It's an eight to five game. And now the top of the order coming up. Connor Kramer will step in. Connor Kramer, the left fielder today. He's had a great day at the plate. Three for three, he's scored three runs, and he has four stolen bases. And now he gets a piece of this one, back to the pitcher, throw to third. They'll get the four out, throw to first, and they double him up. Good double play there, a 6-5-3 double play. And we will head to the top of the sixth, Ashland eight, Kingston five. You are tuned in to Ashland seven, summer baseball. Top of the sixth inning, an eight to five, Ashland sevens lead over Kingston, nine one and two do up. Kean Lennox, the pitcher, steps up to hit, and Hornung delivers ball one, one and oh. Kean Lennox, Chris Quigley, and Jack Quigley do up, wind up and the pitch. Foul tip there, one and one. Now it's been an interesting game. A lot of happenings throughout the course of this five plus innings. Line up and the pitch. And there is ball two, two and one. Lennox is one for two at the plate. Three and one. Andrew Dennison continuing to get loose for the sevens. Line up and the pitch. Down low and Lennox draws the walk. Chris Quigley will step up to the plate. Quigley having a pretty good day. He's two for three, a pair of singles. Line up and the pitch. Inside, one and oh. Well, Horning almost had a clean inning last inning until the strikeout for out number three was dropped by the catcher and the seven started walking off, not realizing the ball was live and Sana ended up beating it out. And Mike Sylvester ended up scoring because of that on, in, on the error. Line up and the pitch, runner taking off from first. It's high over the head of Dushney and it's two and count. No outs, runner on second for Kingston. Just 
Stolen base for Lennox. Line up and the pitch. Inside, turns the hitter around. Three and one. See if Hornung can battle back here. Time called. And the whole plate was out of place. Hornung set to deal. And that slice foul. That'll fill up the count. Lined up and the pitch. And this is golfed in the air over to center field and it is caught. One away. That'll bring up Jack Quigley, the shortstop. One on, one out. And I know Coach Obed would love it if Hornung could make it through another inning out there on the mound. Saving those arms up for midfield on Sunday and playoffs. Swing and a miss there. Takes a look at second and delivers up high. One and one. Leg lift and the pitch. Slightly outside, two and one. Morning deals. There's a strike, two and two. Long look at second and delivers. Up high, full count. Line up and the pitch. And he walked him. Two on, one out. Coach Obed walking out to the mound. And will Hornung stay in the game? It does not appear so. Looks like Andrew Dennison's going to come out to pitch. I'd imagine Hornung will be moving to somewhere in the field, but we'll certainly let you know. In any case, we're in the top of the sixth. One out. It's Ashland leading Kingston 8-5 to five on HCAM TV, WACA TV, and HCAT and Holliston. New pitcher for the Ashland Sevens, the younger brother of Louis Dennison, Andrew Dennison out there to take the hill as Jackson Milbert, the catcher, steps in. Two on, one out for Kingston, wind up and the pitch. And this is up the left side, slow roller, and it's going to be dropped by Dossus. Everyone's safe. So Milbert reaches on the error. Bases loaded, one out. Nick Iarudi will step in. Doss has tried to barehand it and just couldn't get a grip on the ball. Andrew Dennison has pitched one inning on the season so far, 7.00 ERA. And I want to apologize. I read uh, Andrew Dennison's stats when I was talking about Louis' stats. Louis Dennison heading into this game pitched 10 and a third of an inning. As this is hit into left field, that'll drop down. One run is into score, and that is all that'll score. An RBI single for Nick Iarudi. 
Ian Lennox comes around to score. Quigley up to third. Milbert up to second. And the base is still loaded for Kingston. It is an 8-6 to six game. But Louis Dennison had two wins, no losses, and a save coming into this game. He's in line for the win in this game and a 2-7-1 ERA as there's a strike. And Andrew Dennison, his younger brother, has the opportunity to get him a save here. Get himself a save and his brother a win. Mike Sylvester the hitter. And that's sliced foul, 0-2. Andrew Dennison, a 15-year-old out of Holliston in the class 2023. And there is more warm-up action for the sevens. Dylan Fonseca getting loose. And pitch a little high, one and two. Well, this is certainly a crucial hitter here for Kingston. Line up in the pitch. And this is hit high in the air over to left field. It's caught. Runner from third going to thought about tagging. Nearly did, but a good throw in by Connor Kramer. Two away. Runners stay put. Jensen Benavides to the plate. Well, that takes some of the pressure off anyway here in this top of the sixth. Benavides 0 for 3 on the day. And he'll get a piece of this one over to center field. And it's caught for out number 3. A nice job by Andrew Dennison getting the 7s out of the inning. Kingston plates another run. It's an 8-6 to six game as we head to the bottom of the 6th. You are tuned in to Ashland 7's Summer Baseball. Andrew Dennison at the plate for the 7s. Ashland loses their DH since they moved Hornung from second base to pitcher and then back out to the field. So Andrew Dennison gets an opportunity at the plate. Swing and a miss there, 0 oh and 1. Dennison, Hornung, and Dasis do up. Line up and the pitch. Fouled away, 0 oh and 2. Dylan Fonseca continuing to get loose. We'll see who comes in to try to close it out in the seventh. Either Andrew Dennison will go back out there or they'll just straight up bring Fonseca in. Line up and the pitch down low. One and two. And they got Tony Dossis, or excuse me, uh, Tyler Doss is getting loose as well, just in case. Down low. I'd imagine they probably want to try to reserve his arm. Two-two pitch. Up the left side, foul. Good battle here between Andrew Dennison and Key and Lennox. Wind up and the pitch. Inside. Good eye there. Full count. And this is hit in the air right side. And that is going to drop and be a fair ball. And Dennison is aboard with a single. A tough play to try to make. That was right along the line and dropped just to the left of it for a fair ball. And now Jackson Hornung stepping to the plate. Line up in the pitch. The 
Jackson Horning, of course, got two innings of work on the mound. And he gave up two runs, but both were unearned. Dennison stealing second, and he's safe. The speedy 15-year-old with a stolen base. So I guess Horning uh, has the fortune of keeping that ERA at 0, zero, zero. Wind up and the pitch to Hornung. There's a strike. One and one is the count. Hornung is one for two at the plate. He's walked as well, scored a pair of runs, and stolen a base. And he'll take that one down low, two and one. Denniston on second, no outs here in the bottom of the sixth. An eight to six lead for the sevens. Upstairs. Well, this uh, one eleven Kingston team certainly uh, bringing some good competition this evening to Ashland Middle School. As this is it in the air, foul territory, look out. And that'll fill up the count. Tyler Dossis due up next. Lennox deals, and this is up the left side, past the dive of the third baseman. Dennison being waved around, and he will come around to score. It's a 9-6 sevens lead. An RBI single for Jackson Hornung. That'll bring up Tyler Dossis. Dossis having a good day at the plate. He's doubled, walked, and grounded out. He had a two RBI double in the first inning and scored a run. And now we have a mound conference for Kingston. I wonder what the leash is with Key and Lennox. He's really calmed down since the first couple of innings. And he's done a pretty nice job out there. But if the seven start rallying again, then that really puts this game out of sight for Kingston. Well, it looks like for now they're going to leave him out there. And the umpire are going to break up the conference on the mound. Because we got daylight to worry about here. Time is an issue. Dossis will step in to the right-handed batter's box. And we are set to go. Runner on first. That's Jackson Horning who drove in another sevens run. And yeah, pitcher going to step off, throw to first, warning back. Lennox set to deliver, check it at first. Back safely. Tyler Dossis hitting well, 324 batting average, 381 on base percentage heading into the game today. Hornung taking off, and he'll have the easy steal. That is the seventh stolen base of the game for the Ashland Sevens. Up high. Two and O oh is the count on Dossus. Line up and the pitch inside. Make that the eighth stolen base of the game for the Ashland Sevens. Connor Kramer is half of them. He has four stolen bases. And now Horning stealing third, and he gets there with ease. There's number nine. After this game, it'll surprise me if the Sevens don't lead the league in steals. Hey, 
Will they send Horning home? He's already done it once today. Wind up in the pitch. And this is hit high in the air over to center field, and it's caught. Horning going to tag, and he will score with ease. A sacrifice RBI flyout for Tyler Dossis. And it's now a 10-6 Ashland Sevens lead. That'll bring up Shea Donovan, the right fielder. Base is clear, one out. But Ashland, they have a little more security now, leading by four. And we have a pinch hitter, Tony Cordani, stepping in. Chris Cordani, excuse me. Wind up and the pitch, fouled away. So Chris Cordani stepping in for Shea Donovan. It'll likely take over in right field as well. Wind up and the pitch. And this is up the left side, foul. One and two is the count. And he'll put this one up the left side. That'll get through the gap into left field and that's going to be a single for Chris Cordani. That'll bring up Lawrence Tang. One on, one out. Two more runs already in, in the inning for the sevens. We now lead it 10 to six. Tom Nappy on the call, Connor Donovan on camera. Last regular season home game as Tang puts this in the left field. That's going to be a base hit. Cordani held up at second. Now it's two on with one out. Brian Gazzard stepping to the plate. He's 0 for 2 with a walk. Well, it looks like they're going to let Keen Lennox battle through. Kingston only had nine players available today. Line up and the pitch. Up the right side and glove by the second baseman. Throw to first, 4-1. They will get the out. Cordani advances to third. Tang to second. Two on, two outs. And it'll be Max Dushney to the plate. Dushney having a good day at the plate. He's two for three, double and a single. You got it. I got it. You got it. I think he's giving it to AD. AD? AD, uh -huh. Hey, fours. Hey, fours, let's go, Maxie. Lennox set to deal. There's a strike. This game has reached the two hour mark, swing and a miss there. The 0 2. And this is right towards us, foul. I thought Watson was going to make a play on that, but he backed off and ran away. Actually, he just sat there in his chair, hoping not to get hit. Up high. A one-two pitch. Gets a piece of it to stay alive. Count remains one and two. Two on, two outs. Two more runs have scored for the sevens here in this bottom of the sixth. They lead it 10 to six. Wind up and the pitch. Well, and Steve and I were talking before the game and we said if they set an over under for this, it would be 15 and a half. It has gone over. Yeah. 
Two and two. Fouled away. Good battle here between Max Dushney and Key and Lennox. Line up and the pitch. Swing and a miss, and that'll retire the side and the bottom of the sixth. We will head to the top of the seventh. It's Ashland 10, Kingston 6. You are tuned in, Ashland 7, Summer Baseball. Top of the seventh inning, Kingston down to their final three outs. Andrew Dennison trying to close it out, pick up a save, and pick up a win for his brother, Louie. Seven, eight, and nine do up. Ryan Sana steps in, wind up and the pitch, up high. Sana's had a pretty good day at the plate. He is one for two with a walk. He has scored a run. There's a strike, one and one. Set to deliver. And the umpire didn't like it. Two and one. Lined up and the pitch. There's a strike. Two and two. Dennison deals. And this is hit in the air, foul territory, and out of play. Count remains, two and two. Dennison delivers. And this is hit in the air over to left field and caught by Kramer, one away. That'll bring up Ryan Gibier, the center fielder. Kingston down to their final two outs. There's a strike. Line up and the pitch. And this is hit in the air. Little bloop shot caught by Hornung. Two away. I'll bring up Key and Lennox, the pitcher. Wind up and the pitch, up high. Dennison deals inside, two and oh. Lennox one for two at the plate with a walk. He scored a run as well. There's a strike, two and one. Two one pitch. Hit high in the air, over to center field and caught. And that'll do it. The Ashland Sevens are going to come away with the 10 to six victory over Kingston. Impressive stuff out there tonight by the Ashland Sevens bats as they really got going. And in a game where the pitching struggled at times, the bats once again picked them up. But overall, a well-pitched game by Louis Dennison. Went four strong innings and he earns the win tonight. Kean Lennox who went the complete game as the losing pitcher for Kingston. 
And the younger brother, Louis Dennison, Andrew Dennison, gets the save. So Andrew helping his brother Louis pick up the win today and collecting a save as well. A good all-around effort by the Ashland Sevens out there today, especially with the bats. It wasn't the prettiest game fielding-wise, but the bats really came through big. Kingston scores six runs on seven hits, commits three errors. Ashland scores 10 runs on 14 hits, committing three errors. Kingston falls to 1 and 12 on the season. Ashland improves to 13 and 1, heading into their final regular season game this Sunday at Schilling Field in Medfield in what will be a battle for the top spot in the playoffs with 12 and 2 Medfield. The winner of that game pretty much gets the regular season league title, so it should be a fun affair at Schilling Field in Medfield this Sunday at 5 p.m. But the Ashland Sevens get the job done. They take down Kingston by a final score of 10 to 6. For Connor Donovan on camera, I'm Tom Nappy. This has been Ashland Sevens Baseball on HCAM and Hopkinton, WACA TV in Ashland, or HCAT in Holliston. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your night. Have a great weekend, and we'll talk to you again soon. Good night, everybody.